In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started with N8N and build your first automation in under 10 minutes. So let's go. Here's what we're building today. It's a workflow for summarizing and sharing articles in an RSS feed. Add your first step. This is going to be your trigger. We're going to focus on an app event, and that app is going to be RSS, a new RSS feed trigger. Click on the new RSS feed trigger, and this is your configuration menu. What a trigger does is tells N8N where to look for data. We do need to specify how often it needs to look for updates. That's what this polling interval is and provide an RSS link. Once you have a URL ready, click on fetch test event. Then you'll generate an output here. Now the next step is to go to aistudio.google.com and we're going to go down to the bottom left and click get API key. Then on the top right, we're going to click create API key. Name your key, select a cloud project, which you'll have to create if you haven't already done so create project and then create key. Once you have this key, you're going to click on copy API key and then head back to N8N and then click on the plus sign to add a new event. We're going to click on AI and Google Gemini. Then we're going to pick message a model. In this case, we're going to use that API key that we copied from Gemini. Click on select credential and create new credential. Then in this API key portion, you're going to paste your API key that we copied earlier. And now you have that new Gemini credential added to your module. And for our model, we're going to configure 2.5 flash. Then we can paste our prompt here. The next step here is to add variables from the input menu. Notice in the prompt, you see fixed. This is fixed text inside of the prompt, but we're going to be translating it into an expression. This is JavaScript that will actually be input into the prompt of the model. Keep in mind, this is how we translate the prompt from a fixed prompt into a dynamic prompt. Each new item in the RSS feed will have its own title, content, etc. So you only need to configure this once and it will run with all of the new data that triggered the automation to run. We're ready for a test. Click on execute step. And now we have an output. Now let's send this output to Discord. Add a new step after the Gemini step and click Discord. Then we're going to send a message. For a connection type, choose webhook. Over in Discord, open up channel settings for a channel that you own. Select integrations, create a webhook, copy the webhook, and come back over to N8N. Now we're going to click on credentials for Discord webhook, create a new credential, and paste that webhook we just copied. We're going to save it. I'll write a simple message and switch this over to expression. Now we're going to do the same thing from before. Now this message is all set. Click on execute step and see the output. The output says that it was true. Now let's check Discord. Looks great. And you just built your first automation in N8N.